Hi, this is Jane from SC4, and we're going to do a search in CINAHL, which stands for Cumulative Index to Nursing and Allied Health, and it's the largest nursing database in North America. So to find it, there is a link on this guide, and there's a guide on the nursing library research guide, but let's say you're starting from scratch from home, so you can type in SC4 library in Google. There it is. I'm going to scroll down to databases A to Z. C for CINAHL, because it's C-I-N-A-H-L. And we find CINAHL complete. Uh, it jumps immediately to the advanced search screen where we can enter our search terms and then uh, refine our search using limiters, which I'll show you in a minute. So my search is going to be perinatal care and nursing. Perinatal is a phrase, so I'm going to put it in quotation marks. And I'll put my Boolean operator and all in capital letters. Nursing, because I want to narrow it down just to nursing uh, research articles. And let's say your instructor did tell you it has to be a research article. Sometimes they'll call it an original research article. And so on the advanced search screen, I can scroll down. There's multiple ways to refine my search. Like for example, peer reviewed, here's research article. I'm going to check that box. If you were looking for uh, an article that was a specific age group or sex, like a research article, just research on females and so on and age groups we could refine that way also. So I'm just click checking the research box, click search. I've not limited my search to full text only online. I found 189 articles and when I scroll down, it's sorting them by relevance, and I could change that to sort by date, most recent first, but I find it's more effective to go down to this publication date scroll bar and pull it up. So I'm going to say just from 2015 to date. So update my list, and then I have 69 articles, and not all of them are full text, in this database, but they will link to the full text if it's available. So the first one here, you see, if a link to the PDF is attached, that means the full text is in this database. But I'm going to scroll down to the eighth article listed, just because I'm trying to show you different features of CINAHL. So this one's titled Delaying the First Newborn Bath and Exclusive Breastfeeding. Um, the full text is not available in this database because there's no PDF link here. Um, it's out of American Journal of Maternal Child Nursing, very current from March, April, 2020 this year. If I click on the title, it gives me a description more detailed description of the article. Um, so it tells me here, again, it's a research article, some major subject headings and minor subject headings, and those are always handy to look at because it might have one that's better than the one you used or one that you wanna search in addition to the one you used. And then an abstract, and this is like a summary of the article. And just reading the abstract, I can tell that this is probably an original research article. And maybe your instructor told you it has to be an original research article. Not all of the research you do has, in nursing has to be for original research articles, but sometimes you have that assignment. And if we look under methods here, it does, you know, it has cohorts and then it tells us, you know, the number and people who were selected for the research and why they were selected. It has some results. Sometimes it will have a discussion section also. 
If I scroll back towards the top, there's no link over here on the left to a PDF, but it says find full text. And we have software in the library that if it's available in full text in another database, it will link to it. And this one does. So we're gonna jump over to a database called Ovid. Takes a little bit. Ovid. And we come to the full text of the article. It's out of MCN, the American Journal of Maternal Child Nursing. <clears throat> and usually an HTML version of the full text will follow. Usually you will also have a PDF link and sometimes it's easier to read the PDF. Plus you can easily download the PDF to your laptop or even your phone if you're using a smartphone and uh, so it's easy so you don't have to bother printing it off. So if I scroll down I want to double check to make sure it's not that it is an original research article. It gives me study design and methods. Usually research articles will give you a chart and this one does down here. Um, explaining the results, the, uh, people who were studied for the research, and so on. So I would consider this an original research article. On occasion, it will tell you right at the top, it will say original research, but not always. And here you could download the article to whatever device you have, or print it if you wanted to print the article up. This database, Ovid, happens to tell you how to cite the article, but not all will. But if I click on Cite, you want to use the APA citation style for nursing. So you can triple click on it or click Copy, and then copy it and paste it into your references page. Okay, I'm going to go back to my listing here from CINAHL. Occasionally a database will not show you how to cite the article. So you can always go back to your abstract here in CINAHL, click on cite, and it will tell you multiple ways to cite it. There's your APA version. It's exactly the same as the one that we found in Ovid because in APA, it doesn't matter what database the article came out of your citation will remain the same. So again, you can triple click on it, copy it, and paste it. Occasionally, your instructor will ask you to see the permanent link for the article, or they'll say, send me a link to the article because I want to check it and make sure it's one that you should use for class. This link up here in the address bar will not get your instructor back into the article. You need a permanent link. And that is one that goes through the library server. Um, so you can access it on or off campus. In CINAHL, right there, it tells you permanent link or permalink. You can click right on that, copy it and paste it into your instructor. That link will get you or your instructor back into the article from on or off campus. There is a, a tab on this guide for how to find the permanent link. It gives you screenshots depending on which database you're in or whether you're using OneSearch. But if you need, ever need help, you can't find the permanent link, you can email us or do a chat with the reference librarians and ask for the permanent link. We'll just need the citation information to get the article. I'm going to go back to my result list. In CINAHL, we just click on result list. And there's some other good articles you might want to use that may not, like this uh, ethics of perinatal care for black women, dismantling the structural racism and mother blame narratives. That would be great for a paper or finding out information um, and continuing education. Uh, but it is not a research article even though the um, 
we narrowed it down to research articles. Occasionally, you'll find an article. I'm going to scroll back to the first one. Here, or one of the others here, that is not full text available online. And it would just come back and tell us the full text is not available online but we will obtain the article for you through interlibrary loan. So you would just go back to the library homepage, scroll down to interlibrary loan, and fill out this form. And even if the library building is closed because of COVID or any other reason, we still are obtaining interlibrary loan through electronic resources. So if it's a journal article that we don't have, we can get it from another library through interlibrary loan. And as always, you can always contact us at the library. We have 24 seven chat service. And uh, so feel free anytime to go to the library homepage and click on contact in the right hand column if you need help. Thank you.